Wow, Seth Meyers, it's late night. We hope you're all doing well. And now, if you don't mind, we're going to get to the news. President Biden's allies are reportedly upset with the New York Times after a recent string of negative headlines and stories. Well, it has gotten pretty bad. Even the Connections is coming after him. <laughs> Shout out to Connections. <laughs> In a post to Truth Social yesterday, former President Trump criticized President Biden for his recent comments supporting NATO and said, quote, could someone please inform our uninformable president that NATO has to pay their bills? Trump is telling people to pay their bills. This guy owes more money than Howard Ratner. His picture is hanging up in the UN with do not accept checks. <laughs> Uncut Gems ref. <laughs> While speaking last night at a rally for former President Trump, Republican Senator Tim Scott said that he told his fiance that despite it being Valentine's Day, he had to introduce Trump because it was a, quote, chance to introduce the next president of the United States. And she just couldn't stay mad at him because she's not real. In a campaign email sent yesterday on Valentine's Day, former President Trump wrote, quote, this is a Valentine's Day letter from Donald J. Trump. Ooh, you old honey dripper. <laughs> Nothing says I'm your Valentine like including your middle initial. <laughs> I think you might be confusing a Valentine's Day letter with a loan application. <laughs> when asked yesterday about New York Democrats flipping a congressional seat in this week's special election, House Speaker Mike Johnson criticized Representative-elect Tom Suozzi and accused him of campaigning, quote, like a Republican, though it says something that that was the meanest insult he could come up with. <laughs> that guy's a real Republican. Aren't you a Republican? <laughs> Former President Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, said this week that Trump's current team is, quote, maybe the best he's had. All right, but that's a pretty low bar. <laughs> it's the best team he's ever had. Not a single one of them wears an ankle monitor. In a new interview, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that he would prefer that President Biden win the 2024 election. Aw, oh, man, that's got to hurt. Well, at least you still have the undying love of your eldest son. Oh, no! <laughs> and finally, the House Ethics Committee has reportedly obtained text messages that Florida Congressman Matt Gates sent in 2017 to a woman asking her to join him on a three-day trip. It didn't work out, though, because Venmo payments have a $5,000 limit. And that was a monologue, everybody!